In this segment, Grace McDonald visits Adeline's Bakery just outside of Burr. These are more than two she sheds in someone's backyard. This is where Amy Oswalt runs Adeline's Bakery in honor of the grandmothers in her life. Her business is outside of Burr, Nebraska, in her backyard, where Amy bakes just about everything. I've from cinnamon rolls, bacon sticky buns, regular sticky buns. I've got peanut butter rolls. The recipes are from her mother, Grandma Mabel, Grandma Dorothy, and even Grandma True, a neighbor who felt like family. She named the bakery after Grandma Adeline. And so I wanted to name it after her because she's just this huge, huge, wonderful lady. Amy has wanted to open a bakery since before the pandemic, but something told her to tap on the brakes. It, it's, it's been a, a huge, huge faith leap, I can call it. <laughs> Definitely a, a God-breathed bakery. Last year, she and her husband had the idea to turn their shed into a kitchen and bring in a second shed for the storefront. Their backyard bakery abides by Nebraska's cottage laws, a set of guidelines for bakers who operate outside of their home. I may live right here and I get to work here, I make sure that when I get up every morning, I, I treat it like if I was going to a job somewhere else. Together, she and her husband decorate according to the season. They even have a corner dedicated to Thanksgiving and Christmas already. Uh, that's what I want. I want when you walk in here to, to feel like a hug. You know, you, I want you to feel blessed when you walk in and leave with a smile. Now, Amy goes to markets, fulfills orders, and visits with customers. Eventually, she would like to make casseroles for families to come pick up. At this time of year, a lot of farmers pop by. During harvest, we are tr we're trucking, combining. We need somewhere to eat. Amy's great. She always has different varieties of desserts and stuff you probably shouldn't eat, but Amy does a very good job. Adeline's Bakery is open Wednesday through Friday and every other Saturday. Customers can drive a mile east of Burr and look for the yellow flag outside of Amy's home. Just down the driveway, Amy bakes alongside the grandmas who inspire her. I was raised by such great, great grandmas. I mean, so, uh, and my mom and... <sighs> I feel like I grew up at the at the feet of all of these wonderful women who know how to bake. And now she is a grandma continuing the legacy of bakers before her. For Pure Nebraska, I'm Grace McDonald. <laughs> Wasn't that cute? <laughs> I love all of that. Yeah, I know. Uh, Grace, you had a great story there. Uh, tell us more. I know you got the hug, you got the smile when you left, but how can people also leave with the goodies? Well, people can visit Adeline's Bakery. They can visit Thursday through, sorry, Wednesday through Friday. Her hours on Thursday and Friday are 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. And on Friday, it's 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And she also has it open every other Saturday, but she often goes to Kansas City to visit her grandchildren. Well, you gotta do that, gotta fit that in. But I love the idea of the casseroles too. That would really help families out. Yeah. Mm, all right. Thank you, Grace. That was a great story. Thanks for joining <laughs> us here. Yeah.